So tell us the difference between a portal and a vortex. That's okay. A, I'm going to tell you the difference. Questions. That's a, such a good question. I'm going to tell you the difference. Okay. So a portal is an opening or a gateway or a bridge to another world. And a vortex is a spiral or a pull of energy, sometimes attached to a location or it's created by a geomagnetic force. What do you think? Pretty I good? Think, I think that's pretty good, Kelly. <laughs> I, I read the same. I read okay. <laughs> well, let's talk about vortexes and then spend. And, and. Well, well, first of all, portals. I think people should understand that portals and, and, and they're opening. So portals like a doorway. Yes. And there can be portals um, in, in mirrors and windows and doors yeah. and, and nature too. You got portals. So it's, it's a doorway in or a doorway out or. Uh, an opening, an opening to other levels and realms, and and I I uh, open portals all around my house. I have a portal, and I open it up, and I bring through energy, and then I close it down. That's how I bounce some part of the things I do. Um, portals, um, uh, like I said, and they can be um, they can be in spaces that you don't expect them to be. Um, they can be in uh, locations in houses and buildings. Mm -hmm. Um, all, all different experiences of, of portals. I remember I used to work with um, a lady by the name of Marianne Winkowski, and we did the ghost whisper together. And she was very much a specialist in earthbound. She supposedly earthbound spirits, which I'm not so sure about earthbound spirits to a point. To a point. But um, she would often talk about creating, I've seen her do it, a portal for them to, she'd speak with the earthbound being. And things that she didn't know things about them, no doubt about it. And uh, like this, one thing she said in a restaurant that was really fascinating, because I'm really, I, 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 I go both ways in that I, I believe that there aren't really as many earthbound spirits as we might think. But mm -hmm. at the same time, I think the mind traps us down here sometimes in that, like we were sitting in a restaurant, Mary and I, and she said, you know, as we're sitting here, there's a man sitting on the steps, there's a spirit sitting on the steps over there, waiting and not sure about going to the other side. And now they don't know she can see them. And I said, well, can you talk to him? And she goes, all right, hold on. She just looked over and she started talking to him. And she goes, well, he's really confused. He's And she goes, a lot of times you'll find them confused because uh, it was really interesting, I thought. Because again, emotionally, this man, I guess, was brought up religiously, right? And he lived a gay lifestyle and it was against his religion. And was forcing him as a young kid, he got older, that if you do that life, you go to hell. And he thought that if he goes to that light, he's going to go right to hell. So he stayed back behind. So he didn't go. Wow. So she, she speaks to him telepathically and then creates, if you will, with her mind, a portal, a, an opening, a light, and sends them through it. And she's done this. She's worked with her guide and so forth. And they take them. I've I've seen them clairvoyantly. Not a lot, but I've seen some of certain portals. Um you know, it's really interesting. One of the portals I think is, which I I like to talk about is the Wizard of Oz. Tell me about that. Portal to a different world when there's a twister, twister NTM, and there's a tornado, and then she's flying around. It, it almost looks like there's, you look at the roof and there's an opening. It's like a portal to a different world. She ends up being in a different world. It's a portal to a different world. Yes. Really. So think about it. And the vortex, which is concentrated energy, was that spiral, that spinning, that took her to that portal. So vortex, as you said, is concentrated energy. And Sedona, Arizona, of course, people, a, lot, a lot of people know about Sedona being vortexes and portals all, all around there. And over there in Sedona, um, they have, if you will, um, different uh, places that you can experience different types of vortexes. Some they call a masculine vortex, some uh, female. There's a cathedral rock. Uh, they have male and female. There's Bell Rock. There's Boynton Canyon, which I'll, I'll tell you an experience about that. There's Airport Mesa. And those are the strongest ones. And I've experienced all of them. Wow. And some people are more sensitive to one space than another. And I'm just talking about Sedona here. So I remember, and I've told you, you and everyone else here about the Sedona experience when I was um, the UFO experience, and we were in Boynton Canyon, which is kind of a balanced vortex of male, female energy. Um, but it's, it's, to me, it's a calming energy, so it's, it's okay. Um, but the airport Mason was pretty intense to me. What so, does it feel like? Well, this is very interesting. So I, I fell into a portal. Okay, so there was a portal in a vortex. So in this, in this interesting way is, is that you feel a certain way. For me, it's Airport Mesa. The vortex, what we'd say vortex, you feel a certain energy. Some people feel tickling. Some people feel a movement. Some feel nothing. Um, I was uh, okay with Airport Mesa. I felt there was a charge, but it couldn't really tell. 
And I was with my friend Ron. We were going to do it right before our trip there. We wanted to search it out and see what was going on. And literally, we were climbing up the mountain there in Airport Mesa. And literally, at the same time, we both took a step and there was no ground below us. And we walked right into a portal. And Ron turned to me and he said, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> okay, I know Ron. That's that's amazing. Yeah. We, what we, happened? We entered a portal. We stepped through time. We stepped through that space. We stepped through a physical space. And, and we both stepped right through it. And that was it. We we walked that got into that portal to whatever level realm space that was. We definitely both experienced our physicalness. Stepping into a space that was not physical. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And then do you step out of it or do you just, what happens? Yeah, we, we, we stepped, we took a next step and we were back, we were right back in the rock. Oh was, my gosh. It was, like, it was like a step. It's like a right. step. So, um, and you know, anyway, you, you can also create portals. Uh, you know, a lot of people can create portals, they do portals with, um, with uh, healing work and so forth. So, yeah. I create, I create view period portals. I create portals when I'm working. And also, so I'm a vortex. We're, we're portal. We're open. We're, we're channelers. We're mediums. Right. We're portals. So right. we are an opening to the right. higher levels, the higher realms. Same thing. Right. So we're going with channelers or mediums, if you will. But most people are can be portals if you look at it that way. But um, a, a vortex like is a concentrated energy. And remember that a vortex is concentrated energy. What's making up that energy? Well, it could be positive or negative in that good thoughts bad thoughts right. so if someone says oh that house doesn't feel good or that space doesn't feel good or that building or that it, it could be negative thoughts bad thoughts ne negative thoughts i guess you could right. say um and, and now when i worked with Mary Monkowski, she talked about people having curses do you believe in curses i don't really believe in curses per se but i do believe and she said she doesn't believe in negative energy and i do too i believe that there could be energy attached to someone or push them with a negative yeah uh, no doubt about it. Yeah. And you don't want to do that because that'll bounce right back at you 10 times stronger or 20 times stronger. It can. So don't do that. So neutralize it with light, with love. That's how you neutralize it. So you cleanse everything with love. Even people in your life that you don't get along with, well, I'd say pink light them, unconditional love. So. Right, right. Well, I, you know what, James? I just want to mention this too. Eclipses. Did you know this? Eclipses are considered a portal. When there's an eclipse, that. when there's an eclipse, because they help us accelerate into the next chapter of our life. How interesting. Another step. Another step. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. wow. Now, here, windows are a popular portal of angels and guides because windows are places where energy is magnified. Interesting. Anywhere where energy can concentrate and flow through both ways can become a portal. Waterfalls, geological divides, features in the earth, riverways, all these can be portals. Anything with a porous osmotic boundary can become a portal, such as sources of organic materials, including the human body. Okay. Right, right, right. Um, did, okay, that's fascinating about <laughs> portals. Um, also, it, this, this is another interesting thing, Kelly, which I was, I knew yeah. this because I used to do, I used to work in, um, I think I might tell this story long, you know, a long time ago. I used to work in a hospital for about four years when I was doing my temporary gigs when I first moved to Los Angeles, trying to find work. And I worked in the human resources department, a temporary job. And I did so well at it, administration work, filing and so forth. And I got along with the people really well. They kept me on. They said, can you stay longer? I kept it longer and longer. And then they put me in different departments because they really enjoyed me working. And I used, this is before I knew anything mediumistically, but I used to go to the sixth floor. And the sixth floor was the, the brand new AIDS ward. It was in 1886, maybe, 85. And I remember seeing groups of people and um, beings, guys, I guess, going from one room to another. And they were like a team of beings and like, like looked like doctors, nurses, white, white coats. And they were really just spirit guides. And they were, it would be this light. And it was, I think it was a portal. And then I don't know how much longer the person would be passed on after that. Wow. Wow. So a portal was created in a hospital then. Correct. And that's where you find a lot, a lot of them in hospitals. Uh, you will find a lot of them portals in hospitals. Exactly right. Right. Um, wow. That's right. It makes sense because it helps people cross over. So, And yeah. as you pointed out, a medium can be a portal because we're, we're dealing with well, yeah. the other side. We're, we're, we're open. open. Vessels. Yeah. We're vessels. We're open. Yeah, we're portals. We're channeling. We're opening. Yeah. So, yeah, for sure. So. Wow. Yes. 
I was reading about energy vortexes and um, how they have, as we talked about the swirling center of the energy, how it comes about. And it, what I found out, it's so interesting, is that it had a lot to do with ley lines. -E I was just, just going to say ley lines to you. I oh swear gosh. to God, I was going to say ley lines. It's concentrated energy. Right. Right. It's so interesting, right? A ley line. I mean, have you, have you heard the term before? You knew the term. Ley lines, of course. Ley yes. lines. Of course they have. Okay. Throughout the time, I, there are ley lines. There's, yeah, kind of like longitude, latitude, similar or right. something like that, points similar. of energy. But um, a, apparently, ley lines were, I mean, one of the theories is, who knows, but one of them is according to the Atlantis. Earth. Yes. You Atlantis, weren't you? Atlantis. I was going to say Lemuria. Atlantis. Lemuria, absolutely, which I'm going to be doing a class on both of those. And, ah. um, but the, um, also, they're, they were, her, Apparently, they were used to guide alien spaceships. Did you hear oh, about yeah. that? Oh, no. oh, yeah. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Very so. Oh, very much so. These have landing strips. Oh, yeah, for sure. There were landing strips. Oh, definitely. Where was it? Santa Fe? Where were they? They were in the desert. They were landing strips. Yes. And also, yes. I find it very fascinating when you talk about Stonehenge and there are different places from the mm -hmm. going back on certain images from the, from the higher la uh, altitude. And I remember when I was 10, 10 years old, 11 years old, 10 years old, I went to England with my grandmother and we saw the CERN giant. Now, what is the CERN giant? It's in Wales. And the CERN giant was like a caveman. And you really couldn't see it, not from your, you could see it from space. You could see a little bit from the hillside, yeah. but you really get it. And they showed it from the sky and it would be, an indicator of a, a person, a, a cave person, and that's what it looked like. And they're all over the planet. And of course, it's a higher intelligence. I mean, that's the other beings. Well, you know, I just heard the term yesterday there are aliens among us. I'm like, besides the book, Alien Among Us, yeah, we're aliens among us. <laughs> when, I was, when I was sitting in my development circle, other beings, because when aliens, people think aliens, they labeled them. Higher level beings would come yeah. to the circle and they didn't look human at all. No, no human traits whatsoever. There was such mm -hmm. benevolence that was just was unbelievable. Humans are on the kind of the one lowest rung, you know, rungs in the ladder. That's true. Know. We're still killing each other. We still kill each other. Like, what's that about? We're still killing oh. each other. We don't realize you can never kill one another. It's not a good thing. You don't, you oh. can't kill anyone. You just, because there's no death, you, you just end oh. up having karma again. I know. This planet has so much sadness with that. Yeah. Gosh. Oh, my gosh. Well, some of the energy vortexes, number one is Glastonbury, England. Did you know Glastonbury. that? And that Glastonbury. Is, yes. Glastonbury. And that was this uh, tied to King Arthur. You know how people talk about King Arthur and the round table? You bet. Fascinating. Well, all, all the esoteric. Yeah, exactly right. It's all esoteric. And is that, yeah. is that have you yeah. been there? I've never been there. I have not been there. What's the garden over there to Findhorn? Findhorn Garden. Okay. Supposedly is also one of the uh, a portal and vortex place as well. Um, yeah, no, I haven't been there. No, I have not. I haven't either. And Stonehenge, of course, is a landing space. For the yep, guests. Stonehenge. That's a huge one. And apparently Stonehenge, James, has 14 ley lines. Wow. That would be a lot, right? It seems like a lot. And one I thought was really fascinating, and I think this is so fascinating. One is in Tulum, Mexico. Tulum. So and weird. It, yeah. it's, it's so bizarre because it's, it says the ruins of the Mayan city of Tulum um, were apparently believed, no, the, apparently according to scientists, an asteroid hit that part of the earth and wiped out the dinosaurs 66 million years ago. And that was at present day Tulum. And I've been to Tulum. You have? Well, I've now, they Tulum. say that's a big spiritual place. I've never been there either. A friend of mine just mentioned to me last week she bought a house there. She bought a place there. And um, I, it was the most brilliant stars I've ever seen in one place. It was wow. That was before the really lighting, but it was uh, from houses and so forth. But it was uh, incredible. The lights, the stars were amazing. And you felt a certain energy there. Yeah, for wow. sure. Wow. Well, and another one is Mount Shasta. And I've been to Mount Shasta. That's a big one. A lot yes, of healing so. that goes on there. So this weekend I had a long conversation with a, um, a friend of mine and, and yours now. And we were talking about Mount Shasta being a vortex of energy and a portal. Mm -hmm. And um, I said, I know about that. I've known, I've seen, I've seen yeah. what we call ships, whatever, enter the mountain. And she goes, well, you know, there are talks about that, the tunnels, Mount Shasta, yes. and the tunnels go directly to the middle of Brazil. 
Wow. Is that the, why it's such a place mines, for crystals? Crystal mines. Yes. Crystal mines. Wow. And I've been to Cristalina in the center of Brazil, near near Brasilia, and it's a whole village of crystals. And the crystals I have, which I have some behind me, it's bought at uh, Tucson Gem Show, are from that area. And they say there's tunnels that go directly from, and with the ley lines, I'm sure there's some connection there as well, between uh, Brazil, the center of Brazil, and also Mount Shasta. And I'm sure it's all over this planet, you yeah. know. That's fascinating. Is it is? That's, yeah, really fascinating. Now let's talk about the Great Pyramid of Giza, the pyramids. That's also um, it's a huge, huge uh, vortex there. And, and also a huge landing pad. Huge Just landing saying. pad. And I would think it's a big portal too. And it's a big portal. You so bet. you can be have both. You can have both. You don't. Yeah, yeah. they're not you know exclusive. They're, they, you could have them both the same same place. Of course you can. Wow. Uh, it's, it, remember, it's, it's, it's flowing energy. It's energy. So it, it's, it's a space of energy and it's concentrated energy. It's a and that's open or closed. Um, I, I, a couple of things I've heard very interesting is possible to clear a portal in your home or even redirect the energy for good. You know, crystal crystal grids create yes. wonderful uh, portals or, or, and vortex as well because the energy from the crystals. You do that, plus you have the intention behind it, it can, it can amplify it. Um, and Reiki is the same thing. Reiki, you're being you're open as a portal using the energy. And if you, the more you concentrate that energy because of vortex, vortex of energy. You know, we hope like this little ball of energy is because of vortex of energy. Um here we go. You can look at geologic lines, hidden springs, or local features to find out where the high energy flows are around a home before buying it, so you can work with them. Now, me and my house, you've been here in my house, and I've, I obviously did it without even checking, but I just intuitively knew where to plant certain things, knew where the certain water was in certain places. And it was all because I felt it. And it was indeed different places there. I had little portals here, there, and um, I created vortexes of energy in certain in certain spaces, not all. And some already existed. Right. And I think with, with certain flowers and plants, you can increase, of course, that energy, the positive energy, right. and create these, these vortexes, if you will. Uh, well, um, we, you know, because you're a natural dowser. You're yes. a dowser. And yes. so as a dowser, you'd be feeling the energy. Let me let me read this because I, I yeah, found Yeah, please. This can enter <clears throat> in high energy areas while they may be plentiful at first, can be crossed over, managed. We talked about that. Many things can draw the spirits in for many reasons. Think of a portal more than more than an energy spring. Um, they can be positive or negative, created through magnetic forces, geological, even by human centers of energy. They can also go dormant and later become activated due to a variety of reasons. So when I moved to my house, there were a lot of places here that were totally, the portals were shut down, uh, horrible weeds and it was rocks. And, and I opened them up. I, I created like a park in my, as you know, my garden, like a park. Incredible. And that's a major portal right there. Wow. And that's why people say, what, your plants and flowers are really, really yeah. well. Well, I opened up these portal, these channels. And this area where I live in Encinitas and this part of San Diego is just like South Laguna. I used to live in South Laguna. This is wild. It's built in beds of quartz crystal. Oh and old mines, gosh. like in the late 1800s, people about California, the, the gold mines. There are a lot of mines here, a lot of mines in San Diego. Yeah. And so this is uh, built upon quartz crystal where I live. Wow. Uh, portals can be strengthened over time to collect human thoughts, making it making it so in some spaces. It is easier to reach or access certain entities than others. If you have a portal near you, you can actually open and close yourself to it using essential oils, energy cl clearing rituals. The flow of this energy through a portal may ultimately be strengthened through continued prayer, meditation, and effort to cycle the type of energy through the space. So the, that's what I do every day when I say I work with the energy of my space. I walk around the property and I'm just really just bringing the energy. I'm, I'm running the energy, cleaning the energy, yep. because we have to realize that people who think that's thought, thoughts are things, thought is mm -hmm. energy, and it's real. It's, it's We don't see the three-dimensional, but the human, but it's there. And right. if you're attuned to that and you, you know, you feel, you sense energy. So people's energy is all over the place. So especially in a neighborhood or a business. So I just clear the space and I have my own energy and I build up my own energy space around here. And sometimes, and this is very funny, we're just talking about this today and, and also this weekend. When people come to my space here, they either love it or they get repelled. That's they true. That's true. They can't actually can't handle it. I've seen I've known two people that couldn't handle it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Shirley came in as soon as oh, she Shirley came here. flipped. She Open loved it. Oh, it's so great. It's the greatest. Thanks, Kelly. Thanks, James. Thanks, Love everybody. you. Bye, Thanks everybody.
Bye, everyone. You've been listening to Both Sides Now and Beyond, featuring spiritual medium and master teacher James Van Prague and spiritual medium and psychotherapist Kelly White. That was great. Maybe we changed some lives. And maybe opened up some minds. Which way do I turn? Uh, right. Uh, I, I mean, left. <laughs>